Alright. Do our IRL category. Boiling dinner. A chat, let's go. Let's just boil the pork chops. Ha, this guy's toast. So, you might be wondering, toast. How do you boil pork chop? I mean, it's, a, it's a good question. First things first. You get yourself a clean pot here. And you fill it, fill it up with some water. Put it on the stove. And crank it up to the highest heat. Alright. Now, of course, it is kind of bland just to boil pork, right? So we will also boil some onions. Okay, Lee, I have some onions here. Now you want to pick the nice onion. Like this onion, it looks kind of bad, so we won't pick that onion. Ah, this one doesn't look that great either. Alright, we got our two onions. Of course, we don't want to boil the skin. So we have to peel the skin. We can simply make an incision and peel the skin off from the side. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There you go. And you cut the other side as well. Bam. The skin is off. It's a pretty complicated process, so if you need me to repeat it, I'm happy to. So let's wash your hands. Oh, good idea. Proper hygiene is very important. Mm -hmm. There we go. One ready to boil onion. You of course want to keep your kitchen nice and tidy. So have a designated place for your trash. Now we shall cut the second onion and prep it for boiling too. Does anyone have any question about uh, the process so far? Look chat, two ready to boil onions. Oh, God, my eyes. Uh, where does the flavor come from? Uh, we don't need flavors, as long as the protein and the carbohydrates enter our body, that's good enough. Hmm, you know what, two onions doesn't seem very, uh, flavorful, so we'll boil some, uh, peas and carrots. Luckily, we buy them frozen here. Oh, sorry. And just like that, you also have some peas and carrots ready to go with your onions to boil. Let us bring out our pork chop. I got the value pack, so it's cheaper. Now I think we'll only eat one, we're trying to lose weight. Sometimes I would eat two, but uh, I'm getting a bit fatter, so... There you go, one pork chop for dinner. For carbohydrates, we will eat um, multi-grain cracker. Although, we, I guess we could cook us some couscous. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I use toilet paper. <clears throat> Cause I don't have paper towel. Paper towel is expensive. So this is what I eat every day. You think being a video game streamer is all fun and good times? This is what it's like to be a video game streamer. Okay, water's starting to boil. This is when we, this is the boiling part of the stream. We take our pork chop and we put it into the pot of boiling water. And you boil it for like about 20 minutes. You reduce the heat, the heat to a simmer. And you just wait 20 minutes. Tell us where's the salt. Uh, I'm trying to wash my sodium content. Sodium is bad for your health. So, I don't salt my food. Oh, look at that chat. Getting nice and boiled. 
We will also make some couscous for uh, carbohydrates. Hey. Hey. Oh, uh, my lights are broken. There's three lights. There are three lights. Uh, but only one of them works, so that's why it's so dark in here. I actually uh, went to buy some buy some replacement bulbs. Unfortunately, I bought the wrong ones. Uh, this is the ones I bought. It is way too big for that. So I have to go back to Canadian Tire to return it. I hate dealing with customer service when it comes to returning stuff. I feel, I feel like I did something wrong. I wonder if I should cut the onions and have to boil it faster. That's probably a good idea. Ooh, you know what I do have? You might be thinking, Toast, how can you eat all this stuff without flavor? That's why I went out to buy this. Red Thai chili peppers. Ooh, a very hot product of Vietnam. And we all know there's some really hot and spicy things from Vietnam. This is where I get my flavor from. The kick. Ooh. So what I usually do is I take a nibble of this, eat some pork. Nibble of this, eat some pork. Nibble of this, eat some pork. Oh yeah. This is when I truly feel alive. Nibble of this. Oh, wow. Ah. Woo. Woo. Like a party in my... This is what it means to be alive. This is why we live. It's actually not that hot. I'm used to eating spicy things. It's just that I haven't eaten anything with this, so it's just nothing but the chili. Because do you have milk? No, I can't afford it. I do have cottage cheese though. I mean, cottage cheese is just milk that's hard, right? I eat cottage cheese before bed because it's a slow acting protein which means my body will get more food throughout the sleep cycle it's it's bro science i read it on bodybuilding.com pork still boiling we can probably throw in our onions now right onion 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 and onion oh yeah that's gonna really um Get those onions nice and flavorful. Yeah. Does that look good, chat? Ogres. I like onions. I bought this banana yesterday, just waiting for it to ripen. Anyone have some medium bullets? It takes like a couple of days. I'm pretty excited for it. <laughs> Usually I sit here and I eat my food. Day in, day out. But no one. To share it with. If you ever want to be a Twitch streamer, this is the life you can look forward to. Oh! I got some uh, Godfist Jack skin codes. Would this interest anyone in chat? You think I just show the code and have everyone fight it for it? Ready? Three. Wait, wait, wait. Why is everyone spamming wait? No! The people who are typing wait is the one logging into their lead client, huh? You guys are just asking me to wait so you can log into your lead client, open the code redemption box. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Toast, can you wait? I need to download League of Legends client and sign up for an account. No, I'm not gonna wait for you to do that. Three. Two. One. Go, go, go! Can you even see this? Code expires April 13th at 12 PST. Is it April 13th? Oh no, it's May. Oh, sorry guys, it's it's been expired for a while. My bad, my bad, my bad. Anywho, how's our pork doing? Looking pretty good. Okay, 
I'm going to add the peas and carrots. Boil that for about five minutes. And now we can make our couscous. So, with couscous, it's equal part couscous, equal parts boiling water, right? So this is the ah, this is the amount of oh god, there's couscous all over the floor now. Shit. That's all the couscous. Anywho, like I was saying, couscous. It's equal parts uh, couscous, equal parts uh, boiling water. We don't have to actually boil any water because we got some uh, nice flavorful broth going here. So we can just pour a bit of our flavorful broth with onions and vegetables and meat and use that. To uh, you know, fluff up a couscous, so that it's got extra flavor. Oh yeah, look at that! Healthy carbs, healthy carbs. I think our food's ready. So we grab a plate to serve it on, a nice white plate, you know, for presentation. If you have a lady friend over. Now, how are we going to get rid of all these water and keep the vegetables? Well, luckily, we invented something called... Oh god, my plate is stuck. A strainer! Where you can pour stuff through it and keep the items while the food drops out. Right. Grab your pot of delicious food items. There you go. Mmm, okay. Chad, how does that look? It's pretty good, right? Get your food up. Okay. Get your onions. And you got your vegetables. And voila! The dinner is served. Got your chili for flavor. Maybe you got a meal going. Uh, actually, I should eat from the other side so the light is better for you guys. We'll cut ourselves a piece of pork chop here. Mmm, how's that look, chat? We're going to Flavor Town. I have some chili. Let's spice it up. It's pretty good. And it's super healthy. Everything here is like super health conscious. I'm sorry, not all of us can be Gordon Ramsay, right chat? But if you want to be fit and, you know, lean like me, this is how you have to eat. Take a nap by chili. Once things start getting too bland and tasteless. Mmm! Yeah. That's where the kick and flavor come from. You guys want to try some of this? Makes you want to cook your own boiled pork and boiled onions, right? I'm not sure if the pork is supposed to be making that squeaky noise when I cut it, but um, I think it just means it's really cooked. So the reason why I like boiling so much is that you won't undercook it when you boil food. You can overcook it, but you rather overcook it than undercook it. The trick is to never eat tasty food so you don't know what you're missing out on. It's like never having anyone love you. Like, it's sad, but if you never had that feeling, you don't know what you're missing out on. It's not as bad. Mm mm mm. What a meal. I'll finish this later. <clears throat> Let us uh, go back to our PC. Wasn't that fun?
Hey, lights out.